One of my favorite passages is those last words of the Lord Jesus that he gave to his disciples in that upper room, preparing them for the new beginning that would come to them as he went to the Father and sat on the throne and sent the Spirit and would quicken his word and give them this privilege. He says to them in John 14, 12, of a truth, of a truth, I am saying unto you, the one who is believing on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater than these shall he do. And here's the reason, because I go to the Father. Then there's an and, and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do in order that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And then two other times he says, ask in my name. In fact, seven times he says in here, ask in my name. So we need to heed these words and realize that the greater works that he wants us to let him do through us are connected directly to praying for the work Lord Jesus, in and through us, the church. So if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. What does that leave out? Nothing. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be done to you. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven.